These are two 13-inch entry-level MacBook Pros right next to each other. They have the same starting price, similar specs, and obviously an identical design. The main difference? Intel versus Apple's own silicon, the M1 chip. And I'm here to tell you that the M1 chip is absolutely no joke. Let me show you. So do you wanna transfer large files quickly and easily? Maybe a 40 gig folder? How about doing it in 27 seconds compared to the Intel's 90 seconds? All right, maybe that's not that impressive. Maybe you're the kind of person that loves to have a bunch of applications open at one time. How about opening up all of the applications, exactly 50 of them? Well, with the M1 chip, it took merely a few moments to load up all 50 applications, with a few exceptions of some prompts that needed to be addressed. But the Intel Mac, it did try really hard to keep up, but struggled with Final Cut Pro down the stretch, taking forever for that application to finish up. And the animations while loading these applications were obviously lagging a bunch and performance was non-existent. You couldn't use the Mac while this was happening. I could not only use the Mac perfectly fine while these applications were opening with the M1, but I could also use Mission Control to see what was going on and everything worked perfectly. Oh, by the way, the fans never kicked on one time. Just opened 50 apps on the Intel Mac. It is burning hot. And the fans are going pretty loud right now. 50 applications isn't that practical, I get it, but if it can handle that many applications at once, I'm sure it can handle whatever it is that you need to do with it on a daily basis. Speaking of apps, if you want to open a single app at one time to see how fast it is, the M1 is nearly instantaneous. Now, the Intel Mac, and I think macOS Big Sur has something really to do with this here, it's made some improvements, but the M1 is still noticeably faster when you're opening up apps like Safari, Maps, Apple Music, and Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, performance is obviously the main selling point here, and if you're doing any kind of production work, design, etc., the M1 is going to be great. Let's take this nearly 10 minute 4K timeline that exported in only four minutes and 53 seconds on the M1 Mac. You can see here at any given moment, it would be nearly 10 to 13% faster during the export. The Intel Mac, it finished about two minutes later, around six minutes and 47 seconds. Performance is huge here, but so is power efficiency. Do you wanna know how I measured that? Easy, the fans. This base model MacBook Pro the M1 chip is exporting a nearly 10 minute 4K timeline. It just finished. Uh, it was the video on the HomePod that we just did and the fans never once kicked on, completely silent. And also it never once was plugged in to the charger since I opened it yesterday out of the box. It's very hot. It's pretty much what I expect whenever I use this type of Mac, uh, or any Mac really, any MacBook Pro. I expect the fans to come on. Uh, crazy that the M1's fans have not kicked on yet since I've had it. I even opened up like a dozen tabs of different YouTube videos playing at one time. Check out the CPU load and memory pressure in the activity monitor. The Intel Mac is melting here. Literally, the fans are roaring and the MacBook is incredibly hot. The M1 Mac, it's as cool as a cucumber. It's not all one-sided. I mean, Apple showed off its new instant wake feature during the keynote when opening up your M1 Mac and you can turn it back on from sleep instantly. But to be fair, the Intel model, it was maybe a half second behind. I didn't really see the point of that. I also tried shutting the computer down and booting them back up, and the M1 Mac was faster at doing both of these tasks. I even entered my password in wrong when booting it back up, and it still edged out the Intel. But these tests aren't the reason why you should consider the M1 Mac. You can take my tests with a grain of salt if you want to remain skeptical, but the numbers don't lie with the benchmark scores either. The internal SSD on the M1 is significantly faster than the Intel model. Geekbench scores for CPU and GPU is just mind-blowing. These numbers are staggering, and I showed you in my tests why they're that much faster. Apple claimed massive performance and efficiency upgrades with the new Intel Macs, and this video wasn't to tell you to go out and buy one, but it is to show you that Apple was not lying when they made these claims, because like I said before, the M1 Mac is no joke. And also, the fans have not once ever kicked on with the M1 Mac.